Hi guys, my name is Tina and I have been a beach body coach since, let me think here quick, March of 2012. And um, I'm currently an emerald coach and my goal is to get to diamond soon. Um, let me just start with the questions and go from there because I'll get all sidetracked. So how did I hear about beach body? Um, when I was pregnant with my son, um, I started watching um, Gretchen on um, Facebook because she was someone I knew and she was pregnant too at the same time. So we kind of always follow those people that we can relate to. So I was kind of, you know, checking out her belly and my belly and, you know, all of a sudden one day I saw that, you know, she posted these awesome transformation pictures of her body after the baby and I was like, what? How did she do that? So I um, messaged her, figured out what she was doing, found out she was doing P90X and she told me about how she was coaching now and had challenge groups going. And I was like, what's this challenge group all about? Um, so I started a challenge with her and um, it was just exactly what I needed. Uh, within, I don't know, maybe three weeks into the challenge, I decided to start coaching. Um, it just kind of appealed to me in every sense. It appealed to the fact that I could work from home. It appealed to me that it would give me more accountability for myself and getting my body back in shape after my baby. And um, just in general, I thought that it would be a fun thing to do. Um, at that point, I didn't even think about, you know, like a business potential that was behind it. I just thought it'd be cool to do kind of as like a hobby in a way. And... Um, it ended up being one of those things where the more success I had, the more driven I became and the more potential I saw in it. So, um, yeah, that's how I heard about coaching. Gretchen's my sponsor. Um, my hobbies, I like sports in general. Um, I played like four sports in high school and, um, you know, I just like to be as active as possible. I like to take my dogs to the dog park. I have two dogs. Um, so I love animals, and um, I'm a big bookworm. I love to read. So basically when I do have free time, which is very, um, very few and far between, um, those are things I like to do. Um, what do I want for my beach body business? I want to be diamond. And I know everyone says, like, well, you know, think more of building quality and not just like the title of diamond and um you know that too is important for me but I just feel that I feel like I reached that benchmark of diamond and um so that's where I want to go in the near future long term um you know I want this to be my full-time job I want to have um my own little empire I guess you could say, of coaching. And um, I would love to continue to build up my website and reach as many people as possible through um, all the different social media outlets there are. And um, you know, just help as many people as possible realize that even if you're busy, there still needs to be that time in your schedule for yourself. And your health is of utmost importance and it, it directly affects all your relationships with everyone you love and, you know, it really, really impacts, you know, what your future is going to hold. So um, that's like my mission. I would love to do that. So as long as it's a full-time job and it can support me and my family, um, you know, or even partially support us, that's great. Um, my husband and I also have a plant and tree nursery and landscaping business, so the more I can contribute to helping build that as well through Beachbody is awesome. So, um, yeah, so what would I sacrifice? Um, I feel right now I kind of do sacrifice a lot of family time, um, and I'm hoping that um, the more I grow my business, the uh, less time with my family I have to sacrifice. I work full time as a speech language pathologist, and um, my job is—I love it. I went in, went into it into it for all the right reasons, and it has the potential to be awesome. Um, my placement just right now is way too stressful, and I'm bringing home paperwork every night. And um, our caseloads are extremely high, and my billing 
is ridiculous. So, um, yeah, I just, that's one thing that I do currently sacrifice. I wish I didn't have to, but given my circumstances, um, you know, you have to make some sacrifices. Um, another big sacrifice for me, like my weekends, I don't go out. I don't really, um, my social life right now is limited to my challengers and my family. And, you know, I still catch up on the phone here and then, you know, here and there with people and my close friends. But, um, you know, I think that's something that has been sacrificed as well. That's okay. I feel fulfilled in um, that social sense through doing my challenges and through my work relationships and my family. Um, what will you do in two to three years when money isn't an issue? Um, you know, one thing that I really love doing myself is traveling. And I want to be able to do that with my children and my husband because he really hasn't traveled a lot. And growing up, I was always going different places and on new adventures. And that's something I think really helps shape you as a person and really helps you grow as a person. So that's one thing that I would love to be able to do. Um, travel as much as possible. And know that I can support um, my children and send them to college and help them um, feel secure and know that if they need something, I can provide it. Um, so yeah, those are what I want to do. Two, th two to three years. Money's not an issue. Um, I would like to be, oh, I would like to quit my full-time job as a speech therapist. It kind of stinks. I put in like six years of schooling and that's like, pfft. but I would like to continue to do that part-time on the side per diem um, when possible, whenever I want on my terms, make my own contracts. Um, so, you know, it's not like that's just going to go to waste. I'll keep up with my licenses and stuff. So, um, yeah, just be a full-time beach body coach, stay-at-home mom. Um, I could really get in touch with my um, creative side that I neglect so often because I feel like it's, um, you know, it's not a necessity. So I kind of push it to the side so I don't let myself be as creative as I want to. And my Pinterest boards keep growing and growing and growing, and nothing is being accomplished on there. So um, I like to tackle some of those projects. And just be an excellent mom. And that's it. All right, guys. Um, I'm really excited about this Go group. Um, I've been pushing myself more and more every day to grow and develop um, my confidence in myself and really understand my potential and be a better leader for my team of coaches. So I feel that this is going to be just the thing I need right now. And thank you, Gretchen, for putting together this group. And I look forward to listening to everyone else's videos and getting to know you guys. All right. Bye.